Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back, my stitchy friends. This is floss tube number 33, and I'm so glad that you're here and that you tuned in. Welcome to any new subscribers that we have. I'm so glad that you found my channel. I hope you'll share it with your friends. We're trying to hit the next milestone with our YouTube, YouTube subscribers, so that would be super terrific. If um, you can be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, and leave a comment, that's very helpful. And today um, is going to be a little bit longer than normal. At the very end of this video, I'm going to do a preview of the 2021 Fall Needlework Expo. Um, some of my favorite picks uh, that I want to share with all of you and just some sneak peeks of things that um, you can pre-order now uh, for next Saturday. Oh my gosh, it's coming up so quick. And believe it or not, Saturday is the opening day of the expo and it's also my daughter's baby shower. So the girls are having their baby shower on Saturday. So I'm going to get up at oh dark 30 and get all your orders in as fast as I can so that I can then uh, drive south and spend the day at the baby shower. So just as a reminder, if you are thinking of placing a pre-order, please try to get those orders to me um, by the 27th. That will help me, you know, be ready to go on the 28th and place my orders with all the designers. So let me share with you some of the things that I bought myself this week, some of Elaine's haul. Um, I got these pretty little embroidery scissors. Aren't those so pretty? I didn't have a fancy pair. I don't know why I didn't have a fancy pair, but I may now start collecting these scissors because they're so pretty. So I have this pretty pair of embroidery scissors and I got it um, from Laura Hand Knits. So Laura Hand Knits is where I picked up those embroidery scissors. Uh, they're very well made. They're very pretty. They fit very nicely in my hand. Um, so I was happy to add that to my um, little sewing box. And then I purchased um, these cute little stickers from Little, little Trinkets Studio. So there are some stickers to add to my book of days. Um, little Trinkets Studio. That's her little card. Just so sweet. Cute designs. So my book of days is coming along pretty well. Let me show you where I am in August. So I've been keeping up with documenting all of my stitching. And what I've started to do, like I said, is I started to document um, how many hours a day I'm doing my stitching. So every day now I write down, you know, did I stitch for an hour, three hours, whatever. So it's kind of fun to look back and say, oh, wow, you, you didn't do as much stitching as you thought. Or, wow, I did a lot of stitching. So love my book of days. And then September is still blank. I'm going to be probably doing those stickers this weekend. It's my birthday month. Um, not that I'm happy about it. No, I'm not happy about it. But I'll go ahead and get the September stickers in there right away. Because can you believe this month is more than halfway over already? It just flew by very quickly. So I'll be glad to see this month go anyway. So off that goes. Then let me share with you some of my whips and a new start that I have as well. So this is um, September Calendar Crates by Stitching with the Housewives. And I thought I would be able to do the whole box. You know, what was I thinking? Because that didn't happen. But <laughs> I did get um, this bottom row done. So it's coming, it's coming along. I just, you know, have to sit down and finish it. Um, so maybe this weekend uh, I'll get some more of that done. So that's my progress on September calendar crates. Then the next whip that I'm working on is flea market flowers. Um, this is the one where I told you I had the boo boo, uh, but then I did go ahead and, and start this right here. So I was able to get all that done and I put some more of the border around, around that way. Whoops. Let me open it up so you can see it's coming along nicely even with the boo-boo. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? It's okay to make mistakes, right? Nobody knows it's there but me. Then this poor little guy, snowballs for sale. I told you I was going to try to get the uh, snowballs done and the sign, um, but I was just able to get the snowballs done. So I did get all the snowballs done. And then this weekend um, or, you know, this week, I'll work on finishing the cart, getting the sign done and getting in the lettering uh, snowballs for sale. But just a great pattern. I do enjoy stitching it. Um, it puts me in the spirit. So I like that. 
Then I actually have a start and a finish. Um, as you know, I have decided to pick one ornament a week from JBW Designs Christmas Ornaments 3. Uh, there is a book one and a book two. I'm working on book three. Now, I'm, I may go to one or two as well, but I'm, I'm doing one ornament a week from her three book series. And this week, I went ahead and started and finished um, the Christmas tree. So which one was it? It's the white on red. This right here. So you can barely see it but here it is all finished came out very nice this is christmas red so um the fabric and uh, i did that all in uh in white so it came out really nice um i haven't bought the because i need to find um finishing fabric that i can use to finish all the ornaments in the series because i would like them all to have the same backing but you know, I got to work on that. I got to find somebody on, on Etsy that sells that. Then I have a new start. Um, I told you last week that I was going to start uh, Quaker Pumpkins by Hello from Liz Matthews. This was something that I wanted to do last year that I didn't do. So I didn't get much done, um, but I was able to get, that's my needle right there, but I was able to get a nice start on this. Isn't that pretty? I just love this design. So this week, uh, the goal is to finish the centerpiece completely. So I'll try to get that done. And if I do, I don't know where I'm going to go with it. I'll either go to the left or the right. Isn't that something? <laughs> and, and get the and get some more uh, stitching done. But I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a nice stitch, and I can't wait till it's finished. And I love this fabric. I wish I could tell you what it was. It's down there on the floor. It's an 18 count, um, but I love the color. I just look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So it looks really good. It's not the call for fabric. It's Elaine's fabric. So I'll let you know what it is when I dig it out. Okay, so that's done. Oh, and I did forget to show you one more one more thing uh, that I got for myself. Sorry. Um, I got in the Country um, Christmas by Brenda Keys, this book. This was another book that I lost in my stash when um, my box was lost during a move. Um, this is a country Christmas. It's a beautiful book. It was published. Let me tell you when it was published in case you want to go look for it. It was published in 1994. So it's just lovely. And I've picked out a design in the book that I'm going to start stitching um, soon. It's this Noel right here. Um, and the floss is really pretty. I love these colors. It's like a hunter green, an apple green. So this is uh, the pattern again. And I'm going to stitch that up uh, for the holidays. But just a great book. And I think I'm, I'm going to pause now on, on replacing my stash because um, I don't have to replace every single thing I lost, right? So I'm just going to replace things as I come across them that, um, you know, make me happy and that I don't want to, I don't want to lose. So, but this is good. I'm, I'm happy that I have this book now. So that came in. Okay. Back to store haul. Who would like to see all the store haul we got in this week? Lots of new things are coming in. Not as much. Um, and I think I found this out last um, time we did expo is that leading up to uh, the needlework expo, it's very slow as far as what our distributors get in because all the designers are holding um, all of their releases so that um, they can release them at Expo. But we did get in something, so let me show you what has come in. Um, Cottage Garden Samplings has a series called A Time for All Seasons, and this is number eight, Summer at the Shore. This came in yesterday. So this has been in the shop for pre-order. It's now in stock. Um, just a beautiful... Um, it's a, a seagull with a sailboat in the background, a beautiful lighthouse, some starfish, the ocean, just a really, really pretty stitch. And this is a wonderful series. We do have all of the items uh, in the series in the store. Then this came in by Primrose Cottage Stitches, brand new. It's called Pumpkin Patch. It is absolutely adorable, perfect to stitch up for fall, for autumn. This is the back. But look at how nice that is. Isn't that adorable? I just love the trucks that she does, the little truck series. So very, very pretty. The colors are beautiful. And that's available. 
And Prairie Schooler, um, we got in October, which we had last year, but I ordered it again. And then lo and behold, right when I placed that order, um, the distributor re-released May. So we now have May. And they released June, which is really pretty. I love June. Sorry for the glare, but these can't come out of these little wrappers. So we have May and June. Those came in. Then um, we won Autumn Bird. This is out of order. This should be with the um, items back in stock. But here's We Won Autumn Bird by Heart and Hand Designs. Isn't that cute? Harvest House by Little Stitch Girl. Very sweet. Then Heart and Hand, we have three new items to share with you. This is Creeping It Round. Pretty. Then we have um, Home for the Holidays. This is a Holiday Home Round. Very pretty. And then we have the Pocket Crow. I believe this is from last year, but there you go. Pocket Crow. And then Erica Michaels, um, we have Bristol Berries 1 and 2, which I wanted to show, to you, show you because Bristol Berries 3 is coming out at the Needlework Expo, and I wanted you to see what 1 and 2 are in case you don't have them. You can grab them in anticipation of number 3 coming out. So here's Bristol Berries 1. Here's the back. And Bristol Berries 2. And the back. Those so cute. And then she also put out uh, Holiday Home Berries, which I just love, so I thought I'd share this with you. This is Holiday Home Berries. Isn't that beautiful? I love the Christmas colors. Linda's so great. Look at those finishes. Okay, so you have that. So those came in. Then Stony Creek, we have Autumn Bell Pull 1. They put out a couple of Autumn Bell Pulls, but this one I haven't shown before. So this is Autumn Bell Pull 1. It's very nice. So that's available by Stony Creek. And then our designer of the week is Praiseworthy Stitches. So I'm going to show you some of the items that we have in the in the shop. Um, and then on the link below, you'll be able to go to their page and learn more about them. Um, we carry most of their items. These are items, I'm not showing you everything, but I'm just going to show you what we have uh, available to you now. Um, this is Simple Gifts Halloween. Love it. Love all the Halloween motifs. December Snow. I'm tilting it so you don't have as much of a glare. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Then we have a churchyard Christmas. Very pretty. Jingle all the way. They're so intricate. <laughs> Going to Grandma's. Of course, I love this one. It says, Over the River and Through the Woods. I used to love that song as a kid. I don't think they sing it anymore. I don't know. Going to Grandma's. I wish, I, I wish Grandma's house looked like that. Grandma's house does not look like that. <laughs> Going to Grandma's. Winter at Sugar Hill. Beautiful. This is my favorite, but that's just my own personal because it's one of my favorite Christmas um, carols. Um, oh, Holy Night. Very pretty. So that's Praiseworthy Stitches. And like I said, they are the designer of the week. Then we also got in a couple of items from Imaginating and Diane Arthurs. This, is, and I thought they'd be appropriate to show for Autumn. Oh, I need a sip of coffee. Hold on. This is Harvest Light. I just love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we also have it in a kit. So the kit comes with everything you need. Boom, order the kit, get right to work. Floss, floss, needle, instructions, um, fabric, you're good to go. Isn't that neat? That's Harvest Light. 
And then a brand new release uh, from Diane. This is Merry Christmas Mason Jar, which I love. Brand new, just came in. So pretty. And then we do also have that in a kit. And again, the kit is 14 count. So there you go. So that's everything that came in the new store haul. Um, I have a couple of things I want to show you that are um, uh, relisted or not relisted, um, reordered. <laughs> we were waiting to get this in. This is uh, from with what's it called? With thy needle and thread. With thy needle and thread. Winter Rose Manor. This is actually in my personal stash. I kitted this up. I want to stitch this so bad. This is probably my the number one um, design that I want to stitch um, and, and complete. I don't know if I'm going to get it done this year, but it is absolutely at the top of my list of uh, designs that I want to stitch. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is. It's just lovely. And then there's the back. Isn't it beautiful? I just can't look at that basket. Oh my goodness. So Elaine loves this. So I'm going to stitch this up. I just don't know when, but it's back in the shop for those of you who might want to join me. We can stitch together. Maybe we'll do a virtual stitch. Anybody who wants to do a virtual stitch with me, uh, let me know. Wouldn't that be fun? We can do a Zoom call and we can all stitch this together. So if that's something you're interested in, comment below and we'll put together a group of girls that want to stitch along as we do the I'm having a, a good brain thought today. We can stitch along as we do this series. So if you're interested, comment below and uh, we'll get together and figure out all the details. Um, and then this also is back in stock. This is Tiny Modernist Autumn Bell Pull. Different from the other one that I showed you, but just as beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And Tiny Modernist has four bell pulls, one for each season. This just happens to be autumn. So there you go. So that's everything I have as far as the store haul goes. And then um, let me share with you our um, Christmas series. Every week I try to fe feature a series of Christmas designs that I think that might appeal to you if you are interested in starting to stitch uh, up some ornaments or some pillows or some gifts for the holidays. Um, so this week I'm going to share with you a little um, house needleworks farmhouse Christmas series. So there's nine um, patterns in the series. I'm, I think I may have shown this before if I did forgive me, but I'm going to show it again because it is very, very popular. So I want to give those of you that are new subscribers a chance to see this great series. So this is part one. This is Little Red Barn. Isn't that cute? Part two is Horsin' Around. Part three, probably my favorite, <laughs> Grandpa's Pickup. Part four, Dairy Darling. I did show this before, sorry. Part five, Grandma's Quilt. But again, new subscribers haven't seen it, so. Part six, Pinewood Farm. Part seven, cock a doodle doo. Part eight, farm folk. And part nine, Baba Black Sheep. So just a great series to stitch up. And that is our Friday featured Christmas series for this week. And then we have our pattern of the week that I want to share with you. Our pattern of the week is a pattern that I pick uh, once a week that you can purchase in the shop for 15% off. Um, it doesn't, there's no, any, no, nothing relevant to it as far as why do I pick it. Um, I just walk through the store literally and say, what would I like to stitch this week if I had extra time? Or what would I like to add to my stash if I could get it at a decent, um, a decent price? So this one I just love, Stitching with the Housewives, Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph is our new pattern of the week. Isn't he adorable? Just look, I love the lights all around him. Isn't that cute? So feel free to hop on and check out Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph. 
So let me think about what else I want to share with you. Okay, let me just uh, share this real quick. So we started a brand new um, Christmas mystery sal. Tiny Modernist has come out with a brand new Christmas uh, series. It's called The Stockings Were Hung. And down below is the link to the Facebook group. So this is what it's going to look like. This will come out um, September 1st. That's when the stitch along will begin. We do have the floss packs and the fabric available to you if you want to join. Um, you can purchase all of that together and then stitch along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, it begins on September 1st and then each month there'll be uh, another release for, four, for three more months. So September, October, November, and December 1st will be the final release in this series. Um, but it's going to be fun. So if you're interested in stitching along with us, please join our group. And like I said, the link is below. Okay, let me see what we have here. Last week, we have some, some happy mail winners uh, from last week. Last week, I asked everybody, you know, are you a fast stitcher or are you a slow stitcher? So um, I think I'm kind of in between. Like I said, it kind of depends upon the project that I'm working on. I think whether I'm fast or slow and how tired I am at the end of the day or, or how much Terry's annoying me. <laughs> Because, you know, it seems like whenever I'm working on something that I have to count, because this is called counted cross stitch, um, he, he says something that requires me to take my attention away from what I'm doing. And that's when I make mistakes. So I would say I lean probably more to being a slow stitcher than a fast stitcher. But again, sometimes it just depends on the project. So I'm trying to talk slower. One of my favorite viewers told me I talk too fast. So I'm trying to slow it down. Um, happy mail. Thank you so much for commenting. In order to win the Happy Mail, you have to subscribe to the channel, of course, comment uh, and like the video. And our winners last week are Sandy Alford, Lindsay Z, Joyce Wells, and Courtney Stitches Please. So congrats, congratulations, ladies. I will get your Happy Mail right out to you. I just need you to send me an email to info at annabellas.net and that will go out to you, um, you know, right away. I, I think I have some time, so I'll get that right out to you. Um, I thought this week what the question could be is, uh, so you're gonna have to watch the whole video, um, including the fall preview, because the question is, what is the favorite uh, pick that you like from the 2021 Fall Expo preview that's going to follow shortly. So be sure to um, comment below and let me know what your favorite is. Um, and then next week, you know, you might have a chance to win some happy mail too. Um, I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. It really means the world to me. In case you're signing off now uh, and not staying for the expo preview, I hope you have a great week. I hope everybody gets in lots of stitching time and sewing time and paper crafting time and you get to spend time with your family and the people that you love. Um, it really means the world to me that you tune in every week. I enjoy the time we spend together and I hope that you will connect with us on any social media platform that you like, whether it's Instagram or Facebook. Um, also, I, this is the first time I mentioned this. I have quite a following on Pinterest. So if you love you can go ahead as well. I'll put that link below and you can stop, start following me on Pinterest. So, um, have a great Stay tuned. I will be back in just a minute and we will begin the preview of the 2021 Needlework Expo. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Thanks for sticking around. I'm going to spend some time with you right now going through some of my favorite picks for the fall 2021 Needlework Expo that's going to be held next weekend on August 28th through the 30th. If you are shopping with Annabella's, I ask that you get your orders into me by the 27th. That'll help me hit the ground running on the 28th. Um, my daughter's having a baby shower that day, so I definitely want to be at the baby shower. So I'm asking you to kind of work with me if you could and get those orders in on the 27th. This will allow me to get everything uh, to the designers and then head down and spend some time with my kids. So um, let me just go through some of the items in the shop right now uh, that we have listed for you. Uh, if you go to Annabella's Etsy shop and you go to Fall 2021 Needlework Expo, 
all of the items that we have so far, which there are about 200 of them, will come up. So I'm not gonna go through all 200, uh, but I am gonna go through them randomly and then just tell you what some of my favorite picks are. Um, this is by Manny Dodonna. It's called The Pilgrim's Pillow. It's very, very cute. And we also do have available for you to pre-order um, the matching pins. So when you go to the chart and you want the pins, you go ahead and add the chart to your cart and then you scroll down and there is the link for the pins and you'll add that to your cart as well. And then when you're totally done shopping, that's when you're gonna go ahead and check out so that you only have to pay for shipping once. We can't adjust orders once they've been placed. So be sure to just fill your cart up and then just check out one time. That'll be really helpful. Here's an adorable pattern from the Tiny Modernist. It's called the Nutcracker Tree. I think it's just precious. It has so many cute things. There's a rocking horse and a mouse and some presents. Then you have the Nutcracker and the Ballerina. Um, just a really, really cute stitch. I used to take my girls to see the Nutcracker every year, um, but obviously since COVID and uh, we haven't been for a few years, so maybe another day we'll go. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Here is Twin Peak Primitives. This is adorable. This is called Witch's Craft Room. Um, look at the little shelf here with all the potions and her little apothecary cabinet, um, little crow standing on a skeleton. Just really, really cute for Halloween if you're interested in that. Then we have Jeanette Douglas. She has a great series called Home Together. And this is number six in the series. This is There's No Place Like Home very pretty and then here is number five in the series east or west home is best just a great series and we do have all of these in the shop so we have one through four available now and five and six you can order through expo then manny dodonna has her four seasons pillows um, this is brand new this is autumn and then as you can see here, there'll be winter, spring, and summer. But there is autumn for you. And I'll show you winter, but I'm not gonna show you everything. So here's winter. And then spring and summer is also available for you to check out uh, when you take a peek. Manny Dodonna, this beautiful sewing set. It's called Blue Peacocks. It is just lovely. Um, she also put together um, the accessories for you. So there's your accessories. And again, you'll add that to your cart. Um, after you add the chart, you'll just go in and, and click you know, in the description and it'll take you to this and you can order that. Heart in Hand, she has a Doodles series. This is Doodles Autumn, very pretty very fallish <laughs> in nature. Erica Michaels, her autumn berries, love it. Very, very pretty. Sweet Wing Studio has some really cute things. Here is, for all of us pet lovers, Love Thy Neighbor. So you have a little, little cat and dog. Isn't that cute? There we have that. I'm just shutting some of these. Then um, October House Fiber Arts. This is True Blue. I have those dishes at home. My Aunt Millie gave me those. She's given me a lot of things over the years before she passed, and those dishes are my favorite. So there you go, True Blue. Very nice. Manny Dodonna's Five Little Pumpkins. Very cute, look how cute those are. <laughs> Let's see, this is one of my personal favorites by Jeanette Douglas. This is Chubby Bird. He is a fat little chubby bird. <laughs> I have a parrot at home, her name is Bella. My maiden name is Fiorella. So the bird's name is Bella Fiorella and she is a little, she's a little beast, but her name, um, she's a little chubby bird sometimes. She eats a lot of cookies, bird cookies. This one's adorable. This is another by Sweet Wing Studio. This is Let Heaven and Nature Sing, one of my faves. 
uh, Luhu stitches. I'm sorry, Lindy stitches. December dance. <laughs> Very cute. All of you who love Lindy stitches. Twin Peak Primitives. This is one of my favorites. Winter Birds. It's a lovely, lovely design. Romy's Creations. Um, she has put out a Halloween alphabet. A, B, C, and D are in the shop. And then she's coming out with every letter, other letter, up to M and N. So M and N will be the last that you can purchase. The rest will release later this year. But if you go into um, the shop, you'll be able to purchase, you know, all of them. All the, all the up until M and N. So that's kind of fun. Then Puntini Puntini has come out with three more in their When I Think Of series. Here is When I Think Of October. Very pretty. With a little candy corn button. Oh, finally that air conditioner went off. When I Think Of November. I won't have to yell. A little acorn. Or a leaf, actually. And then When I Think Of December. Very cute. Look at the stockings hung by the chimney with care little gingerbread button. Very cute, right? So if you are doing the one I think of series, you can go ahead and look at that. Um, there's other items in the series. So the best thing to do if you're looking is just type in the bar here, when I think, and then all of her when I think items will come up, whether it's by the month or by the season, because she does have when I think of spring, when I think of winter, et cetera, et cetera. Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery is new to Annabella's. This is a new designer uh, to our shop, and I just fell in love with this. This is um, Acorn Catcher. Isn't that pretty? So Acorn Catcher. Lucy Beam Threads. This is so funny. Who can relate? I don't know who used my fabric scissors, but I will find you. I know who uses mine, Terry. He better not use my new pretty embroidery ones, right? There you go. Let's see what else are some of my favorites. Oh, Pansy Patch, I told you about um, her being a new designer to the shop. She has a series called Pansy Patch Manor, and she has four seasons. This is winter. Um, and then she has spring, autumn, and summer as well that you can check out. Heartstring Samplers, one of my favorites. Haul Out the Holly, all of these cute little sentiments and quotes, just very cute. That's available for pre-order. Gotta shut some of these windows, sorry. Then we have uh, Manny Dodonna, The Good Life. Pretty. Flag, house, all the good things in life. This is by Puntini Puntini. This is the Halloween Trio. Knock, knock, trick or treat, born to spook. That's available. Twin Peak Primitives, another favorite. This is a country welcome. Love the bowl of apples and all the little farmhouse type of items, the flags, table. Table runner, very nice. Rosewood Manor, here's a nice sampler. This is called Owls More Cottage. Look at the owls all over, very pretty. Beautiful color palette. Tiny Modernist, her Mouse's series is very popular. This is Mouse's Schoolhouse. Then Pansy's Patch again. Loved this one. This is Trimming the Tree. Cute little snowman. Trim the tree with the lights. Then we have Hands on Design. Her Let's, um, her, let's her Chalk Talk series. This is Let's Talk Stitching. So it's everything we love about cross stitch. That's available for pre-order. Sweet Wing Studio, 
Meow at the Moon. Uh, a lot of the designers are doing another collaborative this year. It is called Meow the Merrier. Um, this is one um, of the contributions that Sweet Wing did. So you can check that out. Then we have another Sweet Wing Studio, Harvest Glory. It's very pretty. Blue Flower. This is Moonlight Sampler. I love the cap. I love these lanterns are so pretty. Then Winter Whites is by Summer House Stitchworks. And um, here's the chart. And then we also, uh, she's also offering the finishing kit. So you can purchase that as well. Again, you'll find the link to the finishing kit embedded in the description below. So just go through here and then click the link and it will take you to uh, the finishing kit. Okay. Why isn't that going backwards? Okay, let's see what else we have here. Here is Hands On Design, um, her series Fright This Way. Here is um, two, two more charts in the series. This one is called Rhyme Time. So Shriek, Eek, and Squeak, His Howl and, Fro and Prowl, and Boo Hoo and Brew. And then she does give you an alternate color palette. So you can either stitch it you know, on this beige or you can stitch it on black. And she does provide the floss uh, based on what palette you choose. So there's that one. And this is the second one. This is called Witch's Pantry. So there you go, just a helping hand. Um, got my eyes on you and toads, warts and all. And here it is on black. And then there is your alternate uh, palette if you so choose. And again, she will provide you with the floss uh, differences. Here's another one of my favorites uh, of this, of this um, expo. This is We Santa by Heart and Hand. I just love the dove, very pretty. Love it. Um, Annie B's and her Biddy Barn series. This is Fall and Winter. So if you're doing the Biddy Barns, there you go. Fall and Winter is now there. Uh, let's see. Praiseworthy Stitches. I told you they're our designer of the week that we're featuring on Friday, our Friday featured designer. This I did not show because it is not available yet. It's available for pre-order. This is Ghoul's Crossing. And it is just gorgeous. Look at that. So there you go. There is all kinds of things going on here. We have trick-or-treaters, and we have a pretty gazebo, and we have some ghosts, and we have a tree and the haunted house. Just a really fun, beautiful Halloween stitch. Brand new. Um, so be sure to check that out. Here is Lucy Beam. Tomato, tomato, for all of you tomato lovers, and you know who you are. <laughs> so there you go. That's available for pre-order. And then here's a nice sampler. Uh, it's Carol of the Bells by Heartstring Sampler. I'll try to enlarge that so you can see how pretty it is. Very pretty. Just gorgeous colors. Um, in a jar, Lucy Beam did a couple of uh, cute designs. This is under the sea, summer under the sea. And so it's a glass bottle. And inside the bottle, of course, you have the house and the flag and the flowers. Just really, really cute. And then she also did bubbles under the sea with the mermaid and the octopus sailboat. So if you like those, there you go. Then Kathy, um, this is the, Kathy at Hands-On Designs, this is the final um, kitchen counter release in the series. This is called Take, Don't Be Afraid to Take Whisks. <laughs> Very cute. Adorable, right? Don't be afraid to take whisks. So that's available for pre-order. Praiseworthy Stitches, brand new. This is called Silent Night. It's a beautiful sampler. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite Christmas carols. Twin Peak Primitives. The Richest Season. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, 
really makes me think of fall. It makes me ache for fall, actually. Just can't wait. Hopefully I can get to my home in the mountains, get away from South Florida for a bit. Okay, this is from the heart. This is Spooky Quaker. Isn't that cute? Look at the witch. <laughs> Spiders, pumpkins. Very pretty. Very cute. Everything's cute. That's Elaine's word for the, of the day. Cute. Uh, let's see. Let's go to page three. See what we have here. Uh, the Pansy Patch. I told you about her series. Um, this is her um, fall of the Pansy Patch Manor. So there's fall. We also have summer. We have all three, but these aren't in order. They just pop up whatever in the shop. I don't know why. Then Luhu Stitches came out with these adorable uh, Christmas ornaments. Uh, we are selling them only as a set of three. So you purchase uh, the set, you'll receive all three. And these are stitched on Mill Hill perforated paper. Uh, so if you haven't stitched on perforated paper before, uh, give it a try. These are going to be absolutely adorable when you complete them. Then uh, Romy's Creations, this is her contribution to the Meow the Merrier series. Um, and we do have the pin. It is available if you'd like to purchase that separately. There's actually two in the pack. So there you go. Oh, there's two there. I didn't see it. So that's sweet. And then she also came out with these two adorable uh, charts. This is Winter Greetings and Snowman. And then she has her Halloween greetings. Look how cute. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. Christmas calories don't count. Definitely one of my faves. <laughs> cute. November in a jar. For those of you who are completing the jar series. And then she also has October in a jar. There you go. Very sweet. Cute little pumpkin. Pumpkin looks like it's afraid of the cat. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see what else we have. Luminous Fiber Arts. I just love this design. Look at this. This is called Boo Woo. They are so cute. So that's so adorable for Halloween. And then Lindy Stitches has Autumn Strolls Make Thankful Souls. All these turkeys. That would look nice hanging in the dining room on Thanksgiving. Tiny Modernist When Witches Go Riding, part three. Those of you completing the series, I'm only showing part one and two. She asked that we not show, I'm sorry, the photo for part three until, um, until, you know, September 1st. So you can order part three, but you can't see the photo. Okay, Monticello Stitches, Mont Monticello. Um, this is Make Me a Blessing. This is absolutely, whoops, what is going on with my computer? This is Make Me a Blessing. It is so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Just look at that. The colors are stunning. So if you're looking for a sampler, be sure to check that one out for sure. Then we have Erica Michaels. This is The Moon is Full. Fun Halloween stitch. Here's another. This is Chris Mons. These are Christmas motif samplers, so you can get to make all three of these ornaments. Tiny Modernist, love this. This is all the witches cross stitch pattern. And I love how each of them have, has a different face. Isn't that sweet? So adorable. I know a little girl who would love that. Scissor Tail Designs, one of my favorites. This is Christmas Cheer. I just love it. This would look so nice in our in our log home that we have, wouldn't it? Very pretty. Then here is Bristol Berries 3. I showed you one and two. 
three is, is uh, previewing now, and then of course it'll be available Usually within two weeks following Expo, we just have to allow the designers time to get home, process everything, put it in the mail, and get it out to us. So Annabelle is receiving the items. So just allow some time uh, for them to, you know, process their orders and get everything out to us. But that is Bristol Berries 3. And again, if you haven't done this series, 1 and 2 are in the shop. Twin Peak Primitives. Here is Santa 2021. Very cute, I love that bird. Oh my goodness, very pretty. Um, Erica Michaels, leafy sidewalks. I wish we had leafy sidewalks in South Florida. We have dead palm fronds. <laughs> That's our leafy sidewalk. Oh, it's so sad. All right, Manny Dodonna, this is Home Harvest Home Pillow. This is beautiful. And uh, the pins are also available, so you can f go ahead and finish it off if you'd like. There are the two pins. Yes, I know it's blurry, but the picture's blurry. So there you go. Let's see what else we have here, some of my faves. This one is one of my favorites. From the heart, this is Gather with Joy. So pretty. Again, some of my favorite color schemes these designers have come up with. Heart and Hand is finishing their, uh, well, I don't know that they're finishing it, but this is Square Dance. This is Square Dance 3. So she has one and two already released. And then if you're doing the series, uh, part three will come out at Expo, but you can pre-order it now. Then um, Lindy Stitches, Halloween Tales. <laughs> Look at that little purple horse. Manny Dodonna, I just love this. Isn't that a beautiful pillow? Give thanks. Is that the name of it? No, Grateful Heart Pillow. Sorry. And this pin set is also, there you go, there's the pin set. So if you're interested in finishing it off, you know, the way she did, she has a pin on each side and really makes the pillow pop, right? Gorgeous. Uh, da, 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 da. Heartstring Sampler, Tudor Rose, and this is a uh, Biscorn New. Lovely, lovely colors. Very soft. And here is her Hoop There It Is Sampler. <laughs> so cute. Uh. To stitch, there you go. Hoop There It Is. Uh, let's see. Salty Stitcher came out with a really cute sampler, um, a pattern from, um, it's a Dr. Maya Angelou, one of her favorite, favorite uh, quotes. So there you go. And if you love Dr. Maya Angelou and you like this quote and it resonates with you, it might be something you want to stitch up. Jeanette Douglas, whoops. This is my absolute, hands down, favorite sampler so far that I Thanks to Annie over at the Proper Stitcher who enabled me to get hooked on these samplers. Thank you, Annie. Um, but I'm enjoying, do, I'm enjoying learning about them and now I'm enjoying adding to my stash and I know I will thoroughly enjoy stitching them. But this by far is my favorite so far. So there you go. Hope you like it. Tiny Modernist. This is her. Um, the Cat Came Back for the Meow the Merrier series. We had a black cat named Ebony. Um, it was Michelle's cat. And look, Michelle, how sweet, even with a little white mark on the chest. I will stitch this for you in lieu of your nasty little giddy goat that you want me to stitch. <laughs> so if you're watching, I'm not going to say anything. You have to say something to me. And this way I know you watch my videos. And if you do, then I'll stitch it. <laughs> I knew I could get her, right? Okay, Twin Peak Primitives. Here is another sampler. Oh, that's not a sampler, but here you go. This is Christmas 1899. Then Annie B's. Pumpkin Folk. 
There's so many people, I can't even tell you. Here is Twin Peak Primitives, Honest Abe. Another one of my favorites. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at that. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hello. Michelle just said hi to everybody. Then we have Annie B's Pumpkin Picking. It's very sweet. And um, she does reference where uh, the item number for the pumpkin that's that she finished it on. So you will be able to uh, grab that. It's at Hobby Lobby. So you'll be able to uh, reference that and go online and order that or just run into the, to the store and get it. Then we have another Annie B's that I love. This is Blessings Be Thine. Very pretty. And... Luminous Fiber Arts, I absolutely love this. This is Jingle Jolly Joy. Definitely going into my stash. I definitely want to stitch this for Christmas. So there it is. And here is an example of how she finishes them individually. as little ornaments. So that's Jingle Jolly Joy. Whoops. What happened? Ooh. I have to go back. I can't go back. I'm going to go back this way, I guess. Sorry. So, go to Expo. I think I was on page four. Yep, I was on page four. See? Maybe I was on page five. We're almost done. Um, this is very sweet. This is from Monticello Stitchers. This is Be Nice or Leave. Love it. So it's got your alphabet, your numbers, and then your sentiment. Well, that's available for pre-order. Um, here's another Erica Michaels, Holly Jolly Christmas. Very pretty. We are um, also selling quite a bit of linen um, fabric. I'm not going to show you all of it. You can find it when you scroll through, but this is something I will show you. This is fiber on a whim. Um, so you'll be able to pick either brown sugar, heather, pistachio, or brick, and you will receive a fat quarter. So this is 32 count um, by fiber on a whim. So if you're interested, uh, please place your order by the 27th because this will go quickly. And then there are some other fabrics in the shop. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Luminous Fiber Arts, very cute cattle lantern. That's available for pre-order. Um, let me see what else I have to share with you. I showed you that already. Here's another MTV Designs. This is another sewing set. It's very, very pretty. So if you want to do a sewing set, that's one you can take a peek at. Make it a little bigger for you. Okay, let's go here. Let me show you a couple of, um, well, here's Nikki's Creations. Let me show you this real quick. This is Halloween Fantasy. Very sweet. It's kind of dark, that picture. Sorry about that. And then Lily Violet has some cute ones. Oh, wait, here's another Nikki's. Let me show you another Nikki's. Here is her embroidery Halloween. And then um, Luminous Fiber Arts. I like that. That's a stashing squirrels. <laughs> They're so cute. And then Lily Violet has some really cute ones. This is Merry Christmas. And then we have Harvest Magic by the Blue Flower, one of my favorites. Here is Thistles. It's very dark, Cool Wishes. Monticello Stitches, You're My Home. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it's stunning. I love the dog and cat. They're so cute. Look at the, the door. It's so neat. Go away. What is going on? It looks like a pair of embroidery scissors, doesn't it? Let me see. Look at that. 
The door looks like embroidery scissors. That's so funny. Okay. I guess that is it. Let me go back here. I messed up again. I know you're being patient with me. But I haven't done this preview this way before. I printed out everything, and let me just tell you, there is no way that I was going to go through pieces of paper with you. Okay, that's it for that page. Let's go to this page real quick. Oh, yeah, I was on this. This is um, More Lily Violet. That's a Christmas village. Very cute. Look at the candles that she uses as trees. Sprigs. And... Last but not least, one of my favorites by Nikki's Creations is called Holy. So that, everyone, is my preview of some of the favorite things that I love that is coming out this coming weekend at the Needlework Expo. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I'll be sure to get back to you. You can also email me at info at annabellas.net. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I've recently added my Pinterest um, as well. I, I have a, a quite a lot of items on Pinterest that might interest you. So until next Friday, have a great week. Hope you get in lots of stitching and sewing and paper crafting time. Thanks so much, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.